is calling us to play a role in redeeming those in our community. God may assign us to share his message of collective redemption with our friend group, church, city, or nation. What helps you to be sensitive to the plight of others in your community? Ezra traces the history of rebuilding the temple and restoring worship under King Cyrus the Great of Persia, and then the interruption of the rebuilding process. There was resistance to rebuilding the temple at Jerusalem from many sides. People who were left in the city during exile, Samaritans who lived nearby, and the enemies of Judah who did not want them restored to the land. In addition, the people had gotten distracted focusing on rebuilding their own homes and assimilating to the culture around them, rather than restoring worship at the temple. And that brings us to our key verse for today, which reads, May the God who has chosen the city of Jerusalem as the place to honor his name destroy any king or nation that violates this command and destroys this temple. Ezra chapter 6 verse 12. Cyrus generously provided for the building out of his own excessive wealth. This can be seen as kindness to the exiles, since they likely did not have enough wealth of their own to rebuild the temple to the majesty that it deserved. It can also be seen as King Cyrus making a show of wealth so as to impress other nations and his own people. Showing a stark difference from Babylon's imperial dominion, the Persian Empire allows their conquered people to reestablish their cultural pillar of worship with all its previous splendor. Having decided in the favor of the Israelites, Darius also decreed against the governor who brought this issue to him. The, go the king warns Tatnai and his associates, leave the Israelites alone. To be ye far from thence means to give them a wide berth and not invade or insinuate themselves in Israelite territory. While Tatnai used to have control over this land, the king must remind him that the Jews now have jurisdiction over their own province. They are in fact allowed to continue rebuilding their temple and should not be hindered. Darius also provides funds for the building project and offering for the priests to give daily once the altar and temple are built. After learning that the Israelites should have been allowed to rebuild their temple since the time of Cyrus, Darius does not want the process to stop again. Once the Jews have their temple again, it will be good not only for them, but for the Persian Empire as well. After the temple is finished, other nations will be able to hear and see how benevolent a ruler the Persian king is, how wealthy he is, and how generous he is with that wealth. While the Babylonians saw conquering other nations as a sign of their gods conquering the other nations' gods, or God, the Persians were happy to let cultural groups within their empire practice their native religions. The polytheistic Persians figured it was better to assimilate all gods into their pantheon and not anger the gods of foreign people groups rather than try to conquer them and their people. This leniency is seen in other Persian kings too, like Cyrus to Artaxerxes. The Persians hoped that this would foster good relations between the Persian government and the foreign gods, at least between the government and the foreign people they now ruled. So here's our lesson. There's a diversity of ways to worship God, and everyone should be free to worship God in the ways that they feel most meaningful and authentic to them. There are some people who worship loudly and expressively, and some people who worship quietly or in silence. Some people love to dance, others love to sing, others love to lay down. Some stand up with their hands raised. Some people feel that most worshipful when they are reading the Word of God, others when they are listening to the Scriptures, and others praying or reciting Scripture. Some write. Some walk or run, and some meditate. Some give to others, and some even cook. But often when we attend worship services, check social media, or see someone else in worship, we may feel pressure to worship like those around us. This week, let's consider how we feel most connected to God and worship. Thank you so much for listening and subscribing to iLights. Heavenly Father, fill our hearts with what we truly desire, for who we truly seek is you.